Hello there, my name's Joe and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at Comfy Space in Comfy UI. So what is Comfy Space? Well, it's a management utility or module. It's, it's not a node that you use to organize and manage workflows, models, LORAs, etc. So let's quickly go through the installation process and then we'll take a closer look at Comfy Space. OK, so although I said um, Comfy Space is not a node, we do install it in exactly the same way. So to install Comfy Space, we will go across to Manager. We will select Install Custom Nodes as usual. And in the search box, if we type in Comfy Space, That'll take us straight to it. OK, so we've got here a, a brief description of Comfy Space. Over here, if we click on this, this will take us to the GitHub page, which has got some very good details on how to use Comfy Space. And certainly the, uh, a lot of effort has gone into this and describes it far better than I'm sure I will be today. So well worth a look at this. And of course, I'll put a link to this in the comments of my video but also you could just click on here and that will take you to the same place anyway so you need to install um, this module and then once you do that do a restart of comfy ui so once you've installed comfy space what you should see is you should now see at the top of your screen this selection of options up here this is actually um, divided into two parts. We have here the model section of it, and then the left-hand side here, this mostly, well, this relates to the uh, workflows. So what I'll do is I'll go from, I'm gonna go from right to left and just go through some of the, the main features here. I'm sure I'll not cover everything, but um, one of the things I will touch on that happened to me and this, this may be the exception rather than, than the rule that when I installed this, I didn't or I couldn't see this part of it. It, um, it wasn't on my screen. So that kind of made no sense to me as far as the documentation was going, because I could see nothing about models and LORAs, etc. And what it was in my case is that this particular module had was way over here and I was literally um, could only just see the bare bones of it on the right hand side of my screen and so I, I had missed that. So it took me for a while to realize that there are actually two parts to this thing. And so bring it over here. This is where, it, to my mind anyway, it should be. I'm not sure if this is meant to install on the right hand, on the right hand side of your screen and mine just went perhaps too far over. I don't know. but. All that really matters are there are two parts to this and um, let's take it from there. So on the models part, if we click into that, what we can see is we can now um, get very quick access to the Civic AI pages for all of our models, our checkpoints that we've got inst installed. So here, for instance, I, I have Juggernaut XL. Click on that and that will um, take me directly to the to the um, Civic AI page for that, so I can look up notes and stuff like that. It's really quite useful. Um, I quite like that little touch, so that's quite good. And similarly, the same same really happens for your LoRa's, VAEs, um, upscale mods, and things. Whatever you have installed, um, you can link direct to the to the pages in Civic AI. So useful little touch. Okay, let's come away from that. So that's the models and LoRa side of it. Now the rest on this side here is all more to do really with, with the workflows. So going from right to left, we have um, save workflow button. We also have that if we move on to the next one, we've got save there as well. And we can also discard 
on save changes, download, save as. And um, it's also got some stuff for um, versioning if you uh, if your work is so complex that you need to um, version stuff. So nice few options there. Here we have a gallery. And what this is, if I just open this up, this gallery um, gives you a copy of the pictures that you that you have um, created whilst using this particular workflow. You can um, select any of them as a cover if you wish to. If, what it seems to do, is, as far as I've seen, is every time you generate a new image, it assumes that you want to set that as the as your um your cover image which which may not be the case but that's that's how i think it's working so every time i, I generate a new image that new image becomes the um the set icon uh, the, the, the cover however you can change it to whatever you want but as soon as you generate another image it gets it um that image will become the set cover not important but um it's a bit bit strange that bit but however what is really nice about this is if you click into the image is you get all the information on that image um to hand so i think that's a nice little touch so yeah so we've got a little gallery there as well and some good information on the images that we've generated so that's one aspect very useful okay so that's the gallery here we have the file name of the workflow that we're actually looking at and if we just click into that we can change the workflow name quite easily which is very nice um, all you do just change it and then I just refresh the page so that I can see it changing up here as well but that, I find that very useful um, next we can uh, create a new workflow and let's let's just click on that and you'll see that this is really very similar to what you would get if you load the default using the old or well, not the old but the um comfy ui menu so let's click on the plus sign new workflow let's just say say yes to save and here we have a standard um text to image workflow so there you go and again it if you do select that it becomes an untitled flow and then you can just change the name to whatever you want from there nice and easy so but the main um the, the real reason i like this i i found i find this very helpful is in this folder section here um we can first of all you would import your um workflows from wherever you were Pre previously storing them and I've done so here and um, you can very quickly swap between your workflows you can open them in additional tabs which is really nice nice and handy for for sharing stuff it gives you from the gallery um, you, you um, can save the icon image sort of thing but uh, as I said before that does seem to change every time you generate a new image but Hey, um, nice little touch though. So the opening your workflows to multiple tabs is is really really helpful. You can also add tags to each of your workflows. So if we go into this one here. Um, I've already up, I've already um, added the tag that this particular workflow is an upscaler, and you'll see up here at the top here. By clicking on your tag titles, you can actually sort your workflow by that if you want to. So let's, there you go. Um, click on the X to go back to your normal list. Um, there you are. So we can we can delete. As I say, that opens up in new tabs. We can add tags to them. Um, it's all very helpful. Now I found when when I first imported all my um, workflows, I had about four times the number of workflows that I got here. And that was really because under the Comfy UI menu system, it's much harder to open up and look at and compare stuff. And actually, my list of workflows was, was mostly 
um, either duplicates or broken workflows, etc. So I found this very useful and very quick for managing and sorting out my, my workflows. And I use this now, um, well, every time I open up Comfy UI now, I, this is one of the first places I will turn to, to use. And another useful feature that I very nearly forgot about is that you can, with one workflow open, you can pull in um, all the nodes from any other existing workflow from, from this menu here. So I have just on here, I have a test um, workflow, which has which only just got one node in. I just wanted to show you how this thing works, but I can, by dragging that on, this could be a very complex workflow. Okay, so in this case, it's not, but you, you can just pull any of your existing workflows into your current workflow at a fraction of the time. It's, it's, it's really quite handy. So, yeah, so that's what um, Comfy Space does, or rather that's how I'm using it. I think it's a very useful um, management module for Comfy UI, and um, I'm, I'm really pleased with it. Now, the only thing that Comfy Space doesn't have that I would like to see, and I don't think there's anything in Comfy UI, is some way of saving the location of this Comfy UI menu on your workflows. So um, I'm always having to reposition that every time I change workflows. So if you could save that as part, save its location as part of your workflow, that would be really handy. The only thing that I can find in Comfy UI is if you go into the settings down the bottom here, I can save my menu position, which is this. However, that saves its menu position in the same location in all your workflows. Now, that's not really ideal. It means, so for me, for instance, that all my workflows, this menu box will be here unless I physically move it. And if I physically move it in in any workflow, then it was changing it for all workflows. So I don't know if, if, if it was a possibility to have that in some kind of workflow management thing like Comfy Space, that would be great. But um, yeah, I just chuck that in because this, this is quite an annoying feature of, of the workflows, the fact that we can't um, set where this thing is. But I, I just mentioned that in passing. So that's pretty much um, as much as I think I, I want to say about that. So um, um, I hope you found this useful. Uh, thank you very much for your time. I do appreciate it. And uh, goodbye.